Hey guys, on this week's edition of BS with AJ, I'm going to show you how to take a glass wine bottle and cut it in half. Stick around. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. As I said before, this week we're going to be taking a glass wine bottle and cutting it in half. There's a lot of different projects you can do with this. I've been seeing quite a few here lately, so I wanted to give it a try. Now there's only a few things that you need. It's really a simple process. Uh, there is a wine bottle, of course, you're going to need, obviously. Uh, I'm going to be using a wine bottle cutter or a glass bottle cutter, whatever you want to really call that. I'm going to be linking that down in the description below. You will need a way to get really hot water, whether you boil it or like I did. I used a coffee maker and just ran straight water through it and heated it up really well. And then you're going to need a source of really cold water, so probably just your faucet outside will do. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now that we have all the bottle cleaned off here, the labels gone and everything, we have our bottle cutter here set to the depth that we want, which is actually the as far as it'll go. I think it ends up cutting about uh, two and a half inches, something like that off. Uh, so I'm going to have the link to this bottle cutter in the description if you want to buy one yourself. Now, whenever you go to do this, you're going to set your bottle on here, push it, your back all the way up against it, and push down with firm pressure, but you don't want to push too hard because it could end up cracking your bottle. You want to make sure and wear safety glasses when you're doing this, just in case something crazy decides to happen. But you also only want to make one revolution. So that way, whenever you, wherever you're starting, you want to make sure and go all the way around to that same point. But you don't want to go too much past it because you could end up putting another, another uh, line in it, which could end up, uh, whenever you go to heat it and cool it, it could make your uh, bottle run you know the crack run down the length of it or something and that's not what you want at all so we're going to go ahead and do that now all right and here's our score line as you can see uh, it's got a little white line there i'm not sure how well you can see it in the video but we have it going all the way around and we did it in one revolution because like i said before if you have, if you go around more than once you could be putting more than one score line in it which could cause your bottle to crack and you don't want that so we're going to go ahead and start heating and cooling it. So we're going to use really cold water and then really hot water. And we're going to go back and forth until this ends up popping off. Alright, and here's how our bottle came out. came out actually fairly smooth. Now, depending on your project, you may want to take the time and sand this down flat and sand it down real smooth and everything. Make sure it's just right. Like I said, it all depends on your project. Now, we're going to be using this for an outdoor project. I'm not really that concerned about it. We are going to go ahead and take the time and sand down these edges a little bit to make sure that there's nothing sharp on it, but that'll be about it. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and consider supporting BS with AJ on Patreon so we can do bigger and better projects for you guys. I hope to see you next week.